Let's turn in our Bibles to Romans chapter 14. I'm not, talk, I'm not going to talk about rice today. I'm not going to talk about swallow either. <laughs> but I'm going to talk about something that will help us enjoy our Christmas. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 14, we will start reading from verse 17. Romans 14, verse 17. It says, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Look at verse 18. For he that in these things serve Christ is acceptable to God. In these things serve Christ. What are these things? In righteousness, in peace, and in joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. It says, for he that in these things serve Christ is acceptable to God and approved of man. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I want to talk to you briefly today about staying joyful. Amen. Amen. Staying joyful. Amen. Amen. You see, joy is a flow of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Staying joyful. If you're not joyful, it means you're not in the flow of God. Amen. Amen. If you're not joyful, it means you've removed yourself from the vicinity of the blessing. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Even though you are born to enjoy the blessing. Amen. Amen. Joy, you know, I tell people there are two flows in the world. The flow of God and the flow of the world. Amen. And the flow of God is always contrary to the flow of the world. So we have a choice every day to decide which flow we will join. Every day, you have a choice to decide which flow, whose flow are you going to join? Are you going to join the flow of God or are you going to join the flow of the world? Okay? Joy is a flow of the kingdom of God. Amen? So by choosing to be joyful, you're choosing to join the flow of God. Amen? How many of you would like to join the flow of God? Amen. You see, the flow of God is the flow of possibilities. Oh, Amen. Amen. The flow where all things are possible. Yes. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So how do you get into this flow of joy? How do you stay in the flow of joy? How do you stay joyful? You stay joyful by faith. Amen. By faith. <laughs> by faith. Yes. Amen. Amen. You see, when you are in the flow of the kingdom, you will experience the activities of the kingdom. Yes, sir. Whoever flow you are in, you will partake of their stuff. Uh, 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 if you're in the flow of the world, you will partake of the things of the world. If you're in the flow of God, you will partake of the things of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. You see, many times we want to have a feeling of joy to register <laughs> before we're joyful. Hmm? Many times, that's what keeps people, believers. We're waiting to have a feeling of joy to register first before we express joy. Mm? But joy is the fruit of our born-again spirit. Mm? Joy is the fruit of our born-again spirit. Joy came with the new creation. Are you listening? Everything that came with the new creation must be operated by faith. Yes. Everything. Yes. Everything that came with the new creation must be operated by faith. Yes. Where Bible tells us that the just shall live by faith. The justified shall live a justified life by faith. So everything that made us justified before God, we are to enjoy by faith. Hallelujah. Of course, we come into a life of, of, of uh, redemption or a redeemed life by faith. Remember, you are saved by grace through faith. So faith gives you access to the salvation of God. Hallelujah. Okay? And when salvation came to you, you were born again. You're no longer that failure you used to be. Amen. You're no longer that hopeless you used to be. Amen. You are now a new creation. Amen. Amen. Yeah. With complete access to God. Yes, sir. 
not only complete access to God, but complete access to everything that God has. Because you are an heir of God. Amen. 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 But to enjoy these things, you enjoy them by faith. You see, when you were made a new creation, the character, what, what made you a person changed from the inside? Okay, you were born again. The old man had his traits, right? Yes, sir. The traits, were, uh, you know, in Galatians 5 tells us, you know, the, the fruits of the flesh, right? Is this. this. Those are the character traits of the old man. But just like the old man had his character, the new creation has his own character. And joy, love, peace, they're part of the new creation. Amen. Okay? And you manifest those things by faith. The same way you entered into that new life, that's the same way you are going to manifest that new life. Amen. How? By faith. Amen. Somebody say, Pastor, not only faith you, you preach. <laughs> well, Bible says without faith you can't please God. Right. So if you take out faith, you're done. Amen. If you take out faith, you're done. Any Christian does, that does not know faith is already a failure. Mm -hmm. Why? Is it because God wants him to fail? No. It's because the only winning combination is faith. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Faith is the victory that overcomes the world. Okay. But one of the indications that you are in faith is joyfulness. Hallelujah. Joyfulness. joyfulness. Somebody say, I don't know if my, weight, if my faith is working. Well, let's watch your joy level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. When, when we really understand this, it will change everything. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. So faith, faith is the victory that overcomes the world, but the indication that you are in faith is the expression of joy. Why? Because in Romans 15, 13, we're told that by the scripture that the God of hope will fill you uh, with, uh, that the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. In believing. So when you are believing, that means it's a process that's ongoing. Are you hearing? It didn't say the God of all hope fill you with joy as you have believed. No. Are you here? Yes. It says fill you with all joy and peace in believing. So you never stop believing. Yes, Amen. Amen. You never stop believing. And one of the indications that you are still believing is joy. Hallelujah. Joy. Joy, joy, joy. joy, joy, joy. Amen. So where there's no joy, there's no active faith. Did you see the way the scripture described it? Fill you with joy in believing. So when you are in believing, you are in joy. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And believing is how you reign in life. Amen. Believing is how you, you, you reign over naira scarcity. Yes. Amen. Believing is how you reign over every, everything that the enemy can throw at you. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Somebody say, yeah, I'm going to believe God. I'm going to believe God. Well, if you are, it will show up in your joy level. Amen. Why? Because you see, believing is not you trying to muster something no. to make something happen. No. Believing is you believing in the God. Who already made things to happen for you and who will continue to make things happen. Amen. Amen. Faith, you know, I've talked about this over the years. Faith is not manpower, you know. Urgh. Because, you know, over the years we've learned the lingos of faith. And we try to, you know, I'm going to use my faith to come through this. I'm going to use my faith to come through this. You're not the one coming through it. It is the power of God bringing you through. Okay? Faith just connects you to the power. Huh? Just like you take a... Um, a, uh, a plug and plug it into a socket that has power in it. Yeah. That, that, that plug is not struggling. No. All it's doing is tapping into power that's already flowing. Yes. That's what faith does. That's why faith is P 
peaceful. That's why faith is joyful. It's not you laboring on your own. Hallelujah. It's you bringing yourself into the power of God. Amen. 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 By simply believing. You know, the work of faith is keeping yourself in a believing mode. Okay? And the way to keep yourself in a believing mode is to keep yourself in a joyful mode. Amen. Amen. Keep yourself joyful. Why? Because of who you know. It's not because of what you can do on your own, but because of what he said. Because of what God said. Because of what God said. Amen. Amen. You see, the level of your joy affects the manifestation of your hope. Wow. Hmm? Yeah. The level of your joy huh, affects the manifestation of your hope. The life of your hope is connected to your joy level. Hmm? So, if you're no longer joyful, it means you're no longer hopeful. You see, faith when you say, I have faith, huh? when, when you say, I have faith, it means you have hope based on what God said. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. You have engineered hope mm -hmm. according to the word of God. Mm -hmm. And faith comes to aid you to manifest that hope, yes, to bring that hope to a successful conclusion. Remember in Hebrews 11.1, 1, it says that faith, now faith, is the substance of things hoped for. So if there's no hope, huh, faith has nothing to give substance to. Yes, sir. Are you following? Yes, sir. Amen? Amen? So if you're no longer joyful, it means you're no longer hopeful because joy is the indication of faith. Yes. Amen. Amen? Glory to God. Look at this scripture before we go on. In 1 Peter chapter 1, look at verse 8. 1 Peter chapter 1, look at verse 8. We will read verses 8 and 9. It says, Whom having not seen you love, in whom though you now, in, in whom though now you see him not, yet believing, yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable. Yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable. So if you're no longer joyful, it means believing is missing. Hmm? You know, you could, believe, you could have believed yesterday. But just because you believed yesterday does not mean you're believing today. Yes, Dr. Lester Summerall used to say that faith has to be reborn daily. Daily daily. It has to be stirred daily. Amen. Amen. You see, faith is not like um, uh, something you just, hey, I got faith yesterday. I walked faith yesterday. It's like, okay, you took a breath yesterday, right? <laughs> All right? You took a breath yesterday. And today, if you don't take another breath, guess, guess what? They will be singing until we meet again, right? <laughs> what keeps you alive? What keeps you around? You continually taking breath. Bible says we shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. By faith. By faith. Faith is your life. Amen. And when your faith is alive, your joy will be showing. Amen. 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 Somebody say, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to act like the Bible is true. Amen. What are we going to do? We're just going to keep our joy. Amen. We're just going to keep our joy. <laughs> it's so funny. This message, God was stirring in my heart to share it today. But over the past couple of days, we've had things to remind ourselves. Oh, no wonder. You know, you have things that come up that, will, oh my gosh. Our experience in this country is increasing. I'm telling you, wow. Wow, we will tell you on a different time. Amen. <laughs> but you see, the Lord reminded us, keep your joy. Yes. Keep your joy. If the enemy will, will keep you from manifesting joy, he has already washed you over. Because joy is the force of faith. <laughs> Woo! Amen. So keep your joy. Learn to stay in joy. 
You see, joy, that's what we tell you. Joy is not something you, 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 know, you wait for a feeling to come on you. Joy is something you express by faith. Yes. 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 Amen. You express it by faith because you got the joy. Yes. Amen. You express it by faith. Praise God. You express it by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Have you ever been so hungry? Huh? You're so hungry and you're eating you feel like you're not eating quick enough. <laughs> you're like, just take this whole thing, just dump it. Ah, how much math do you need, right? You see, you, at the beginning, it seemed like, oh my gosh, it would take a while to feel you. But what do you do? You just keep eating. You just keep eating. I found that to be true all the time. Because my wife gives me a plate and I'm going, honey, that's a lot of food. And she always says, just start. <laughs> just, just do what you can. So I sit down by faith. <laughs> and I'm going one, two. And before I know it, everything is gone. And she's sitting in the corner smiling. And she says, see, I know you. I know. Your faith works, eh? <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. You're going to have to learn to keep your joy. Keep your joy. Amen. Amen. Keep your joy. You see, your joy is your spoon. Amen. 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 You, know, I, you know, we grew up learning, if you go to a place that there's celebration, you know, people are celebrating stuff, they're going to pass out food you know you're going to eat. Some people prepare so well that they bring spare spoons with them. <laughs> if, if spoon's running out, they <laughs> dig in their, <laughs> in their pocket and they pull out one. <laughs> Is that, hey, I prepared those just in case. Eh? <laughs> and, they, and sometimes they bring two. They say, you need one. I have extra. <laughs> eh? You see, that's what your joy will do. Eh? When you bring joy, it means you're ready to partake. Amen. <laughs> you see, what so many people don't realize, in this day and age, the devil is looking to wear the believer down. He's looking to wear you down. He can't take anything that Jesus made available to you. Because to access it, you have to be born again. And the devil is not born again. And he ain't going to be born again. So he's not going to ever get access to it. But what his strategy is, is to wear the believer down. Wearing you down will mean wearing down your faith. Hmm? Amen. He will stir up all kinds of junk. Looking to cause you to give up. Looking to cause you to start accepting some form of defeat. Are you here? Huh? Somebody say, I never accept defeat. But you know, when you start turning pessimistic, that's you accepting defeat. Huh? What do we mean by pessimistic? You know, you're no longer hopeful that something good will happen. You know, I've heard it from many Christians, sadly. When it comes to Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria is a hopeless country, blah, 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 and you live in it. Huh? How, is, how is your faith going to work? What are, what are we seeing? The devil has weakened you. He's caused you to accept. Because, you see, you're not looking at the situation based on the natural. You're only looking at it based on God. Amen. Based on God. That's why you will refuse to be worn down by the enemy. Right. You don't let him get you to give up. Right. Some say, I've not given up, but how are you talking? Yeah. Some say, I've not given up, but are you still joyful? Mm. You see, the, the level of joy, the level of your joy is the measure of the grip you have on what God said. Yeah, hmm? The level of your joy is the measure of the grip you are holding on what God said. And if your grip is small or loose, uh, you won't lay hold. How many of you like to, have you ever started running and your shoes are not, you know, your shoelace is not tied? Ah, yeah. uh, the running is somehow. Yeah. But when you tie those shoes, man, whoa, you're ready to go. Yeah. Why? You, you feel like you are mastering the ground. Yeah. Hmm? You see, that's what joy will do for you. 
Huh? When your joy growing is you, it's like you tying your shoelace. Why? You're going to have a firm grip yes. on what you are to master. Yes. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. You have to remind yourself as believers that God is only obligated to performing what he said that you have believed or what you are optimistic about. You know, the things he said. Remember what Luke 1 verse 45 told us. It says, blessed is, is uh, let's just read it so I don't misquote it. Luke chapter 1 verse 45. Praise God. We're in Christmas season, so this is good. It says, and blessed is she. This is the account when, you know, Mary went to Elizabeth and all that. Uh, and blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Blessed is she that what? Believed. So believed came before performance. Mm -hmm. Did you see? Yes, sir. Blessed, you see, 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 when we say believe, don't look to yourself. Believing is you believing what God said. He does the performing. Yes, That's why, I mean, no matter the trouble, I've learned to sleep. Amen. Sleep well. Yes. Why? It's not me performing it. Yeah. My job is just believe him yeah. and hook up. Yeah. Huh? How many, of you, <laughs> how many of you have climbed up the cell tower to get better network? <laughs> huh? The towers are there to give you the network. Yes, so getting a network or getting connection is not you climbing up the tower. It's just you connecting to the tower. Yes, connecting to the tower. Amen. Connecting to the tower. Amen. Amen. So, blessed is she that believed. Huh? For there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Or we could say this way, that for there shall be a performance of those things which she had believed. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you know, of course, that to believe, you have to hear. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Okay? So, there shall be a performance of those things which was told her that she had believed. That's the point. That's the emphasis. The emphasis is you believing, believe, believed. Amen? Amen. Believing. Praise God. So, we always have to remind ourselves. It's not about, oh, what will happen. It's about us believing. Amen. Believing. But G Jesus said, all things are possible to him that believe it. How do you maintain your believing? By maintaining your joy. Amen. Maintaining your joy. You see, joy is, all, joy is an indicator of uh, who you are listening to. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you see somebody uh, pessimistic, it's really the result of having no hope. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Having no hope of something good happening. Yes, sir. Huh? Which happens because they are worn down by the different assaults of the enemy. Mm. Be prepared. Yeah. Be prepared. Don't make your prayer <laughs> uh, uh, life about not having trouble. Are you hearing? Yes, because some people's prayer life is, I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. No, no, that's not true prayer life. Jesus said in this world, you will encounter tribulations. Prayer life is being in strong fellowship with God that when trouble comes, you are seated. Amen. <laughs> you are seated. Yes, are you here? Yes, sir. When trouble arises, you're not trying to figure out what to do. No. You are in direct contact with the command center. Amen. 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 So nothing threatens you. You're not fearful of anything. Amen. You're not afraid. See, that's what happens when things start coming, fear starts to come, and, and people start to go, ah, 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 ah. Each little fear that comes in is wearing you out, wearing you out. So when you allow fear, you allow yourself to be worn out. And when you allow, when you allow yourself to be worn out, it means your joy level is going low. And if your joy level is going low, so is your faith. Mm. Are you here? Yes, sir. So you don't let what the enemy is doing become the highlight of 
your conversation. Amen. Amen. I mean, I can tell you so many things that the devil has been doing. I mean, not around us, but around some people. We know that's very cold. You're like, oh my God, oh my God. You're just cool and calm. Greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. Amen. Amen. When you release faith, you've released power. And if power is working, no stress. No stress. No stress stress but joy. When the power is at work, no stress but joy. Amen. But joy. You see, but if you don't know these things and things start to come, you, you take things. You're trying to handle things. Oh, God. And you become fearful. You become afraid. Oh, what are we going to do? Now, you've stepped out of faith. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you stepped out of faith, then we know there's no joy. There's no joy. Amen? Amen. So, refuse. I said refuse. 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 Amen. Amen. Amen? You see, you're, the, somebody say, how long will I last? Hmm? Let me check your joy level. Your joy level determines how long you will last. Amen. Amen. And your job is not to get rid of the devil. Your job is to withstand him. That's what we're instructed to do in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. It says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the armor of God. Why? That you may be able to withstand. 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 Amen. Amen. How are you able to withstand? You withstand by the level of your joy. Remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. And the Bible says that if you fail in the day of adversity, your strength is small, which means your joy is small. Are you listening? If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. Well, if the joy of the Lord is your strength, that means if you fail, it means your joy is small. small. Who can fix that? Me. You, me. Amen. Amen. How, how do you fix that? You see, joy is already in you. You just have to learn to manifest it by faith. Yes. Everything that you possess as a new creation is operated by faith. Yes, sir. Operated by faith. Victory is operated by faith. You see, victory is yours because Jesus won the victory and handed his victory to us. Amen. Amen. And so they say, how do I operate this victory? By faith. By faith. Faith in what the victor said. Amen. Amen. And if you have faith in what he said, it will show up in your joy. Someone says, I'm believing. I'm believing. Oh, I'm believing. There's no faith there. Why? You are talking about the circumstances. Amen. 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 When you believe, the Bible says, when you believe, you enter into rest. Yes, sir. And when you're restful, you are joyful. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. You see, the word of God teaches us to withstand the devil. You can't withstand the devil with natural uh, means. You withstand him by faith. Huh? Remember in First Peter 5, 8, it said, you know, the enemy roams around as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Huh? But you withstand him steadfast. In fa- steadfast. Steadfast in your faith. We can say steadfast in your joy. Amen. Ste- Nothing messes up the devil like your joy. Wow. Hmm? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's a flow. It goes, oh my gosh. Oh. Shall we talk science a little bit? Yeah. I remember when we used to discuss about enzymes and substrate. Mm. Mm. <laughs> hey, my wife goes, here we go. <laughs> what I done pass Gary now, eh? <laughs> Uh, one of the things you see, well, let's not talk about enzymes. How, how about white blood cells? You see, the white blood cells are your police. The, the police for the body. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. I mean, greater than army. And the way they work, when they sight an, in, an invader, you know, a foreign something, yes. they send out signals. Yes, There's one that I, I like 
in particular. It was, it's sort of like a flow, and it will cover the enemy. It, it, it will send out some things like this. I wish I could draw it. It will send out of, um, uh, let's just call it for a form of discussion this morning, uh, a liquid, a gummy liquid that flows and draws the enemy in and rolls the enemy up and shreds it. Hmm? That's like what joy will do. It, you start expressing it, it will flow. Whatever it is that's come to terrify you, it will fold them up. Mm -hmm. And go, <laughs> I mean, just shred it. Wow. Why? You see, joy mm -hmm. is a flow from the presence of God. <laughs> and in God's presence, <laughs> There's fullness of joy. And in his presence, mm -hmm. no foe can stand. No power can stand. Hmm? <laughs> huh? Who is it that can stand against the Lord? No one. Hmm? You know, we sing it. No, who can stand against the Lord? No one. But you must never, you must always include yourself. Because you are ever in his presence. Because you are seated. Christ is at the right hand of the Father. And you are in Christ. Huh? Huh? There's one song we were singing one time, or we used to sing, um, and the Lord will prompt me. See, when faith is alive to you, you check every word you're singing. Every word. Every word. Um, there's that song. Um, uh, what's that song? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember. It's um, uh, demons tremble at your presence. What a mighty God we serve. I, I, was, I was listening to it, you know, when we first came. And God said, uh, check that song. Demons tremble at, tremble at your presence. He said, sing it this way. Demons tremble at our presence. Because I'm with God all the time. Yeah. Hey, you see, you got to think victoriously. Huh? Demons tremble. If, if demons tremble at God's presence, it means they tremble at your presence. Why? Because God is in you. The kingdom is in you. Amen. So what will happen if God was present will happen if you were present. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. We ought to say today, if you've seen me, you've seen Christ. We are living Christ. We are living Christ. What, what is a sign of a living Christ? A man, a woman filled with joy. <laughs> Woo! Joy. Joy. No matter what the devil brings, no matter the news, your joy is always high. Why? Because you are maintaining your access to the presence of God. Amen. Glory to God. See, your job is not to try to get rid of the, the, the enemy. Your job is to just be strong enough to withstand him. How are you strong? By maintaining joy. Amen. You see, you, you, you're going to wear yourself out trying to go scatter the devil. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, I'm here to scatter the devil. Mm -hmm. huh? just, just maintain your presence. Mm -hmm. They won't do anything. <laughs> Somebody say, did you hear what the devil is doing? <laughs> At all. I'm here. Hallelujah. I'm not here on me. I'm here in Christ. Right. You're never separated yes. from him. Never. You're to live conscious of that. Conscious of that. I'm never separated from Christ. Amen. So when I show up, his presence show up. Amen. His presence show up. And practicing joy is you practicing his presence. Amen. Practicing his presence. Praise God. Amen. Practicing his presence. 
Don't worry about what the devil is doing. Mm -hmm. huh? ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. Nope. Just all you have time for is what God is doing. Hallelujah. Remember he said, he has prepared a table before us in the presence of, the, of, of our enemy. In the presence. Somebody said, what are you going to do? Just eat. Uh, just, eat. just eat. Are you here? Yes. Just eat. Amen. 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 There's something about just eating that just causes people to just smile. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is good. Why? You see, when you're partaking of what God said, mm. your joy will keep rising. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Yes. But if you take your attention oh, of what, you. off of what God said, and you start attending to bad news, this, this is happening, that's happening, your joy level starts to go down. Because your joy level is connected to what you are attending to. If you are attending to the word, your joy level will keep rising. Because the word and joy are together. <laughs> huh? They are on the same team. Amen. Glory to God. Joy will keep you refreshed. Yes, sir. Amen. Joy keeps you refreshed. Yes, sir. You know, I saw some of my people, you know, saw some of our classmates, you know, th they look at me and they say, "Why well, you haven't changed. You're still fresh. I said, it's Jesus. Amen. I practice his presence yes. by practicing joy. We get going at home, man. You hear something like wah, 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 wah. You know, we just do some funny stuff just to be, just enjoy your salvation. Yes, uh, amen. amen. And I'm thankful I got Chibi that would just laugh. He starts going and Ari will join, everybody will join. <laughs> amen. amen. What? Joy. Hallelujah. Joy. Yes. Somebody say, you must not have trouble. Mm. Uh, is that so? <laughs> is that so? It's just when you are in joy, it puts you in a place to ignore the trouble. Amen. When you are in joy, it puts you in a place to, in, to ignore the trouble. Amen. So joy keeps you refreshed. Joy in every circumstance. Hmm? Joy in every circumstance. Huh? Takes you to your seat of authority. Joy in every circumstance takes you to your seat. You know, someone say, help me find my seat. Joy. Joy in every circumstance will take you to your seat of authority. So if you will find your joy, you will find your seat of power. Hmm? Praise God. Look at this scripture with me. It's in Psalm 16. Verse 11. Glory to God. Somebody say, I'm trying to find my joy. It's inside of you. Yes. Joy day inside. Yes. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Look at verse 11. It said, Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Where are you sitting? At the right hand of the Father. Huh? So when you're in joy, you're in your seat. Because joy is an indication that you're in his presence. Because in his presence, there's fullness, fullness of joy. Fullness of joy. Fullness of joy. Not, not half gallon. No. Fullness. <laughs> Fullness of joy. Yes, Amen. Amen. And of course we're made to sit in the heavenly places. In Christ Jesus. <laughs> Far above all principality and power and might. And Reverend Ike's Translation of that is at least 500 kilometers above. <laughs> Woo! Joy helps you maintain your seat. Hmm? When you're joyful, you are seated. That means you're not anxious. Amen. You see, the things that will put you over in life is already inside of you. And joy is one of them. 
Amen. Amen. Yes. That's why the Bible encourages us to put on the new man. Mm -hmm. When you put on the new man, you put on joy. Amen. Amen. Which after God is created in righteousness and, to, and true holiness. Amen. Amen. And part of the uh, new creation, joy, love, right? In Galatians 5.22, it says the fruit of the spirit, right? Yes, sir. The fruit of your recreated spirit. Amen. Amen. Fruit Amen. doesn't grow on the trunk. Fruit grows on the branches. Jesus said, I am the vine, ye are the branches. Okay, so this fruit grows in us because of the presence of the Spirit of God, because of the presence of the life of God in us. Okay, so the fruit of our spirit is love, joy, and these fruits are not seasonal. Are you listening? They are ever present. They are not like mango. You have mango season and then you have uh, whatever season. No, this is all season. Amen. All season. Amen. Trouble or no trouble. Are you here? Yes, difficulties or no difficulties. Abundance or no abundance. These fruits are permanent. Amen. 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 They are residing inside of you. Amen. Amen. But the fruit of your spirit, right? Mm -hmm. We're talking about our recreated spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there's no law. Ooh. Do we have a minute? Ah, uh, try. <laughs> Remember in Romans chapter 1, it says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which, who are in Christ Jesus, huh? who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus had separated me, has severed me. From the law of sin and death. Hallelujah. Huh? <laughs> who, walk out, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. How do you walk after the spirit? By walking after the nature. What are those natures? The love, joy, peace, long suffering. Somebody say, I want to walk in the spirit. You see, there's so many stuff out there. I'm walking in the spirit. People think you close your, your one eye, you're going like this, you know. Walking in the spirit is you walking in the fruits of your recreated spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's you taking the form <laughs> of the undefeatable. <laughs> Remember the Bible says our life is hid with Christ. <laughs> and when you're manifesting these fruits, oh you're expressing, you're letting the devil see Christ. <laughs> the devil doesn't see Christ just by your prayer. The devil sees Christ as you manifest these fruits. Wow. Wow. That's what keeps you <laughs> untouchable. Amen. 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 Love, joy, peace. You, did you see faith? Faith. Amen. Amen. The victory Amen. that overcome. What you resist the enemy with as you stand fast in it. Amen. Amen. We don't have time to go through all, a whole lot today. Okay. But how do you maintain, how do you remain in the flow of joy? How do you remain in the flow of joy? Let's see what Jesus told us about how to remain. Look at John 15, verse 10. I'm almost done. How many of you are believing me for abbreviated? <laughs> I can do all things, eh? Glory to God. Look at John 15. We will read from 10 to 12. This, we're, we're talking about how to remain in the flow of joy. Or how to remain in the flow of the kingdom. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Woo! I was preaching somewhere in Phoenix. My Phoenix friends. They said to me, Reverend, <laughs> you are free in the kingdom. Wow. And you are free in Phoenix. I said, that's right. <laughs> Amen. So I like that word kingdom. Amen. Amen. Kingdom. Praise God. Amen. Staying in the flow of the kingdom. Yes, sir. Jesus said, if you keep my commandments... You shall abide in my love. Ah, are you paying attention? You shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. Hmm? What shall separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulation, shall, nothing, 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 nothing. 
How do you stay abiding in the love of God? By being a doer of his word. Amen. Amen. Anyway, let's keep reading before I take off. These things have I spoken to you. That my joy might re remain, remain, remain. So that means it's already in you. Remain. How do you get that joy to remain in you? Huh? By listening to the things he has spoken to you. By being a doer of what he has said. He said that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. Or we could put it this way, that your hope shall be satisfied. Remember we quoted the scripture earlier? That, you know, as your joy is manifested, it affects your hope. Right? Right? So when you're full of joy, that means your, your hope, you are bounding in hope as you're filled with joy. So if your joy is full, that means your hope is coming to full fruition. Hallelujah. Remain in the flow of joy. How? By making what God said the source of your joy. Somebody, you see, today, people do all kinds of stuff for entertainment. People are down, they say, go watch your, uh, some kind of comedy. We have comedies in the church today. Yes, sir. Yeah? Natural stuff mm. for spiritual people. Mm. Can you imagine? Mm. <laughs> mm. Natural stuff mm. for spiritual people. Mm. How is that going to work? <laughs> anyway, don't get me started. I told you. You <laughs> 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 see, what did he say? These things have I spoken to you. You see, Instead of running after natural things to entertain yourself, mm -hmm. let the word mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. settle you. Yes. Let the word yes. uh, become your entertainment. <laughs> You're like, hey, come on, guys, come on, guys, come on, guys, come on, guys. You know, we have in our household what we call our movie night sometimes. And I've, I've used some of the camp meetings uh, teachings from Dad Higgins and teachings of yesteryears. We we'll put it on sometimes and we say, hi, that's our movie night. That's our entertainment. Yeah. Why? Because what you feed off, yeah. you will manifest. Yeah. Hmm? You decide what, where you derive your entertainment from. Make what God said the reason for your joyfulness. Yeah. Hmm? If your joyfulness is not based on what God said, it's fake joy. It's fake joy. Because it will disappear when things disappear. But when you hold up the word and you make that word the source of your joyfulness, woo, when the enemy starts to stir up stuff, you put that word before you. I see you, sir. Hallelujah. Whoa, I see you. And you express joy over that word. I'm telling you, you become untouchable. The devil will get tired of you. <laughs> huh? The devil will get tired of you. You hear him say, I'll be back. He said, okay. Because that's what he did to Jesus. You know, the Bible says he left him for a while. Huh? You see? I, we're not concerned about the devil coming and leaving. We're concerned about us maintaining our level of joy. So that we have an answer when it comes. Amen. Praise God. Practicing joy, will, I mean you tire the devil. Hmm? Instead of going to the mountain for 20 days. Hmm? Open your mouth. And rejoice Glory. over scriptures. That's how you wear the devil down. Because you see, you have to, our people are good at taking some things and we think it's us walking. Like I hear some preachers say, come, I will walk it for you. Who are you? Huh? How, how are you going to walk something that only God can walk? 
You're not the savior. Are you listening? That's the problem with our nation today. We have so many man. We, we are suffering from man of God syndrome. That's why the believer, so many believers are powerless. Because they wouldn't until a man of God begins to speak. Then everybody begins to shout, hey, Amen. What about you? Are you hearing me? Yes, you see, when we let the word of God become the source of our joy, yes. ooh, and a true man of God will train you to give yourself your own happy hour. <laughs> Based on the word of God. Amen. Based on the word of God. You can stir up joy. Stir up joy. Stir up joy. Stir up joy. You got it. You got it. You got it. I said you got joy. Amen. You got joy. You, you got joy. You just stir it up. 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 You got joy. I've got joy like a river. <laughs> Woo! I've got joy. Amen. Somebody say, how, I don't know. How much joy shall I experience? The, however much you stir up. Amen. It's inside. So you just stir it up. You just stir it up. On purpose. On purpose. Are you hearing me? On purpose. Instead of waiting for news to tell you that things are getting better. Eh? Read the Bible. Read what God said. And let that be the source of your joy. You start rejoicing. Woohoo! Glory, glory, glory. I read the scripture one time. It says, he'll never leave me nor forsake me. I said, go, he'll never leave me. He'll never. And then you read it in Amplified Classic. It says, I'll never leave you without aid or support. So I start, I mean, ooh, you've never seen me dance in the spirit. Oh my God, I start going, I'm glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. He'll never leave me, nor forsake me. So if I'm facing a high price, he's with me. <laughs> and if I'm facing something that is so, so big, I say, Father, what are we going to do? He said, son, whatever you decide, I'll back you up. <laughs> if you agree for whatever, I'm, I'm for you. Amen. I'm for you. How you do this? Thing? Just stir it up. Stir it up. Stir it up. How you stir it up? Look, look at the word. 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 Let the word engineer you the stirring of your joy. Bible says the comfort of scriptures. The comfort of scriptures. Amen. You see, there, there's so many things out there today. So many bad news. Not just here. In every nation. How do you overcome that? By faith, but stirred up with your joy. Somebody said, I know, you know, the devil was doing something one time. Oh my God, you heard that story, but I'll tell it to you again. When the, the devil was doing all kinds of stuff in my life. I mean, all the bankers that used to be my friends that I could call and they give a line of credit for thousands of dollars for people that were working for me then. You call them that way. We have to see this. We have to see that. I'm like, oh my God. And I went. I was trying to get an approval to do a project. They said no. And I'm like, God said to me, I want you to do that project. So I was kind of like, you know, what do we do? And the Spirit of God said to me, go until you find a yes. Yeah, go until you find They're it. not the only bank. No. I said, you're right, Lord. Yes, so yes. I went and stopped at the ice cream shop. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, give me the largest cone you have. Wow. So they gave, you know, I ordered a big ice cream cone. Vanilla. Freshly made. I'm gone. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Woo! Somebody said, what are you going to do? I'm going to act like the Bible is true. Mm. I'm licking that ice cream like, boy, you go at it slowly. What am I doing? I'm stirring up my own victory, my own joy. Amen. Amen. Don't have to call for prayer points or prayer chains. Stir up your joy. Joy like a river. 
Amen. Amen. And you got it. That's something you have to remind yourself about this Christmas. There are so many reports, yes, sir. economic report, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. social unrest, yes, sir. kidnappings and stuff like that yes, everywhere. Yes, sir. Amen. Huh? Uh -huh. But guess what? Stay in your joy. Yes, keep your joy. Yes, if you will keep your joy, mm. the devil will get tired of you. Yes, sir. Hmm? How many of you would like to just make the devil tired on purpose? On. Just tire him. Each time he comes around you, he just goes, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Huh? Like somebody, you, have you ever gone to the market, you're trying to buy something, and somebody's trying to cheat you, and somebody who knows their system shows up? So how much do they say? And they like, uh, why do you have to come price for him? Now, eh? Why do you have to come price for him? And they get upset. Why? They can't cheat you anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what your joy will do. Yes, sir. Your joy will, you stir up your joy so much, the devil will get tired of messing with yes, you. Sir. He'll leave. Amen. 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 The devil don't leave you because you fast. No. Are you listening? Yes, sir. The devil doesn't even leave you before, because you pray. Because you can pray and get back into unbelief. But if you pray and maintain your joy, you are in the flow of the kingdom. Yes, and the flow of the kingdom, the devil cannot mess with. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Did you learn something today? Yes, what are you going to do? Stay in joy. Stay in joy. Stay in joy. Is it related to anything natural? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Is it? No, it is not. But it will change. Everything natural. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Say joyful. Yes. Remember we sing joy to the world. Joy to the world. Yes. Huh? Hallelujah. What's the next one? Joy to the world. <laughs> oh, the Lord. Jo oh, joy to so 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 Jesus coming means joy to us. Yes. So if you got Jesus, yes. you better got joy, right? <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. If you got Jesus, that means you got joy. Yes. When Jesus entered with joy. Yes. Amen. 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 The coming of our Savior means the entrance of joy. The entrance of, joy. The entrance of strength. Woo. The entrance of the presence of yes. God. Huh? Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And that's what, yes. we have. that's what we have. Joy, joy, joy. Joy will take away your pain. Yes. It will refresh you. Yes. It will keep you in your seat. Yes. Amen. Amen. It will keep you going forward. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Amen. Amen. 